Hey everyone, welcome to Secondary Weekly, where I try to highlight some news stories from the previous week that you may have missed or were broadly covered. All sources will be listed in the description. If you like my content, it would be great if you could like and subscribe. I'll start off with a quick summary of the major headlines from this week, but we'll refrain from giving much detail as I'm sure you have already mostly familiar with these events. Texas, as well as much of the greater American South, was crippled by freezing temperatures, snow, and ice. Influential conservative radio host Rush Limbaugh passed away on Wednesday after battling terminal lung cancer. On Thursday, NASA successfully landed its Perseverance rover on Mars in search of traces of former life on the planet, landing just days after rover sent from the United Arab Emirates and China. Executives from Robinhood, Reddit, Melvin Capital, and others testified before U.S. lawmakers to defend their roles in the events surrounding the GameStop short squeeze several weeks ago. Bitcoin also continues its surge, surpassing $55,000 per Bitcoin. Massacre in Ethiopian Holy City In November, reports of armed killings in Ethiopia's holiest city of Aksum, in the Tigray region, began to surface. Aksum is home to the Church of St. Mary of Zion, which supposedly houses the Ark of the Covenant. Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed, who won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2019, announced the fighting back in November accusing citizens of the Tigray region of attacking the Ethiopian military. While he claims there have been no casualties, new reports suggest up to 800 people have been killed, as well as the presence of several thousand Eritrean soldiers assisting the Ethiopian military. Ebola Outbreak in West Africa An outbreak of Ebola has gripped some West African countries, including Guinea and the Democratic Republic of the Congo, while they simultaneously try to battle COVID-19. Authorities hope quick deployment of the Ebola vaccine and help from the WHO, who dispatched a team to Guinea, will help. Experts warn that the combination of fighting Ebola and COVID-19 could pose threats to food security and influence more violence in the region. Earthquake in Japan A 7.3 magnitude earthquake rocked Japan on February 13th, with the epicenter off the coast of the Fukushima prefecture, the same location of the 2011 earthquake and subsequent tsunami. No deaths were reported, but it injured 100 and left millions without power, and crippled transportation routes. Ant Group IPO In late 2020, Chinese President Xi Jinping rejected Jack Ma's Ant Group initial public offering. Jinping was worried about risks to the financial system and was angry at Ma for criticizing him about strengthening financial oversight. However, new findings suggest that those who own stake in the company are powerful Chinese businessmen who could pose a challenge to President Jinping and his regime. Scientists clone endangered ferret a highly endangered species of black-footed ferret has successfully been cloned using 30-year-old frozen cells. Named Elizabeth Ann, this marks the first time an endangered species in the U.S. has been cloned. The adorable baby ferret will hopefully add some genetic diversity to a species whose entire population is descended from just seven individuals. And finally, we will wrap up with Highly Curious. Scientists from the Prisma Plus Cluster of Excellence at Johannes Gutenberg University and the University of Granada have published a paper proposing a new particle that is a portal to the fifth dimension. The three-finger salute from the Hunger Games book and movie series has become a symbol of defiance in Myanmar. Scientists sequenced the oldest ever DNA from a mammoth that died a million years ago. And finally, a new study has shown it is possible to have a real-time dialogue and communication with a person that is dreaming. If you guys like the video, please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great week.